can find one way ANOVA analysis of variance by using the Minitab Excel T80384 or 89 calculator within a couple of seconds. Now that will give us all the source of variation with a proper answer. Now how do we do it manually? Let's go back look into the source. Is it possible to do it? Yes obviously. I'm going to use this small example to illustrate how to get the answer manually. So source of variance is SSTR, sum squared. SS stands for sum squared tier treatment, sum squared treatment that means between the group. And in this case, SSE, SS sum squared error is within the group and SST is a total sum squared total. So this SS is no stranger. If we flash back except the three or four, depending on which statistics book we looked into, we have found standard deviation and variance and that time we have seen SS. This is a computation formula. So well, let's go back actually quickly to the SS. So SS was sum of squared is equal to sum of x squared minus sum of x to the power 2 over n. Remember this formula was basically the computation formula for sum squared. And I have a slightly different notation here. Is they are same actually? So first we have to look into the SST total. So we work from the bottom here in this case. For one way ANOVA, we must work from the bottom. We look for SST, then we go in between, then we subtract them and we get the middle one. So let's take a look here. Why did I use T? for total instead of s sum of x. Now if I put down sum of x, this notation is sometimes confusing. There is a huge difference between sum of x and sum of x square. Sum of x is we add all the number, whereas sum of x square means we square all the number then add. So when we move into, when we're gonna move into 2 or ANOVA, we're gonna see some complicated formula. It's gonna get more complex. So I wanna introduce the t for sum of x for the total. So let's move into an example here. So under A, I have one, two. Under B, another category, another independent sample, I have one sample here. Remember I need three or more group or categories in order to use the one or ANOVA or ANOVA. So one, I have this time two sample one four. So this is very short example I'm working. Remember the problem is not going to be real problem is going to have a lot more sample than this one definitely. So well the sum of x means you add all the number doesn't matter which way you work on you basically add one plus two plus three plus two plus four or one plus two plus one plus doesn't matter so that is total so i'm going to actually note, note it down here as a total in this case i believe is going to be nine it doesn't matter which way we add we're going to get nine so instead of sum of x i just put down total here Remember again sum of x I could have done sum of x equal to also, but I just put down total here I'm going to type that in here Then of course next one is sum of x square. So let's take a look sum of x square sum of x square in this case 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square plus 2 square plus 4 square and That would give us 23. I Have one more things to work on and sample size. In this case, sample size is five. Question is why is five? Because I have one sample, two sample, three sample, four sample, five sample. That is my five. Okay. So I do have everything here. I do have my five. That is gonna come down here. I got my 23 sum of x squared. That is gonna go down here. And I got my 9 that is going to come inside. Remember, we discard it actually. So let's do this one here. So sum of x squared in this case is 23 minus 9 squared over 5 equal to. In this case, we're going to have 6.8. If we use any calculator, it's going to give us 6.8. That's how we find SST, 
total. Next, move into between. Remember, I would like to uh, in, in, you know introduce something here. When you talk about between, we talk about column. We talk about column. Remember, in two and nova, we're going to talk about row, then column, then of course in between. So in this case. I'm talking about between this case is column also in two ANOVA between is going to be basically the column okay so let's go for the second calculation okay so remember this is a total square over n sum of total. Well, we already know this one is total square over n. This is just coming from there to there. It's the same thing. So this nine square over five. I'm going to just replace it. Only thing I have to work out of this one total square over n. Remember, this is going to be something different. This time we are not going to look into the row. We're going to look into the column only. So well, I'm going to actually add this up here. So this is going to be three. I'm going to add this in the middle. Is going to be one and I'm going to add this last gentleman here so this is going to be five so what does it mean total square mean in this case total over n total square over n that really means three square over two why is two because I have a two sample one two sample and I'm going to have one square over one and five square over one two so that's what exactly I'm going to do so in this case, I'm going to have 3 square over 2 plus 1 square over 1 plus 5 square over 2 minus 9 square over 5. So I would like to note it down here. That is something I already had calculated so I'm going to just replace it so this one down here I'm going to subtract it here so once I do this I'm going to get in this case I'm going to get 1.8 when you type this in the calculator it's going to give us 1.8 so once we have 1.8 actually let's put down 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 here so this is my SST 6.8 6.8 and 1.8 is in between 1.8 should be up there 1.8 now we're going to look for the error so error means the difference between these two actually so well i'm going to just put down here so 6.8 minus 1.8 and that would give us 5 so in the middle error is 5 let's move into degree of freedom so in order to find degree of freedom we just look into the call you know k k stands for the column or group so in this case let's take a look here how many group we have here so we have one group we got two group we got three group so k is 3 minus 1 which is Two. Remember, k is three, three column. So our degree of freedom we get in this case is two, because three minus one is equal to two. Then of course we look into n minus k for error. So this one within the group. So n minus k, n is, we know, n is sample size is 5, minus k, we know 3 groups, so is 2. So that is also 2. Now, I don't really have to worry about this one already. I know if I add this, 2 plus 2 is going to be 4, no matter what is going to be 4. Or I can actually do that this way, 5 minus 1, which is also 4. So that's how we get our degree of freedom. Okay, let's move into mean square. So mean square is basically the ratio between these two, SS over degree of freedom. So SS in this case is going to be, uh, sorry, SS in that treatment. So 1.8 over degree of freedom is two. That is gonna give us 0 0.90. If you have a repeated decimal, we can actually round to three decimal places. That is always safe. So 
our mean square for that treatment is 0 0.90 then we move into mean square for error so mean square for error 5 divided by again for down 5 divided by 2 that is going to give us 2.50 2.50 so this guy goes here that guy goes here now the next F statistics so now in F statistics we're going to look into variance between and variance within we take the ratio between them in other words we take the ratio between these two so 0 0.90 over 2.50 that will give us 0 0.36 so our F statistics is 0 0.36 so that is our F statistics now the fee value we need strongly we you know we recommend that we use the Excel or technology actually for fee value so fee value turn out to be 0 0.735 and critical value we can actually find it manually also or technology is going to give us 19 so this is how we actually find manually the source of variation by using the formula and we can use this concept to construct one complete hypothesis for one or ANOVA analysis of variance and the next video you're going to find one way analysis of variance and of course i'm going to come up with two analysis of variance also thank you for watching